Hello guys, my name is Bob and his name is Phil <laughs> and today we are doing a unboxing video on the creation crate. So here is so you get a good look. And let's see where we are. Right, where do we unbox? Oh here. So we got the build the building the makers of tomorrow. Alright, so if we open this up, we have some papers that we don't need to show off really. Maybe at the yeah, end. I do. And then we have this beautiful bubble wrap with a Creation Crate Building Makers of Tomorrow sticker on it. And so we have some pretty fancy looking stuff that, so we have that to show off. Next thing we have is this. Wood pins. These weird pin looking things. These look even more like pins. Then we have the solderless breadboard, yummy. Yum. Um, electronic, I have no idea what that is. Electronic breadboard. We have some wires. <laughs> and wires. Uh, this USB charger wire thingamabobby-ish thing. Uh, I think I have one of these. So yeah, um, yeah, let's just have pop some bubble wrap really quick. This is satisfying. But yeah, um, I think that's the end of our video. And just really quick, um, make sure to subscribe and like. Subscribe to Pongos. And um, today, get one of these. It might help you. And if you need it, it'll help you give you random numbers. Yeah. Because it's a dice. If you need it, here's the um. You don't need to lift a finger. You just need so to press yeah, a button, that's the end of our video. Bye, guys. Finger. Hope Bye. you had a good time. like a good thing overall but um it takes some work to put it together so it's not like something that you would have done really fast it might take a couple of days or if you do it straight like maybe three hours i don't know but yeah i think it was a good thing overall Is that good? yep all right 
Hi, this is instructor Katie. I was the one helping them with this kit. Um, as far as my thoughts on it, the wiring portion went pretty well. It took them a little bit to figure it out because they had never seen a breadboard before, so they needed some extra explanation. Um, the coding part was difficult. Uh, I was the one who helped them with most of the coding just because they had never seen an Arduino code before. So either this kit would be better if you've already looked at a breadboard, kind of know how it works, kind of seen their Arduino code before, you've gotten past the uh, blink sketch. Uh, maybe if they're a little bit older, it would work better. Um, but I think for kids who had never seen or used any of those things before, it was a little bit too difficult. So either a little bit more explanation if you're reaching those beginners or um, just it's already for people who kind of are a little bit into that stuff. But other than that, uh, I think it was a great kit, so just not the correct group today.